Hey, what's up? I'm Guy. I'm John. This is our YouTube channel. Subscribe to this channel. Give this video a like. Check out the podcast below in the description. Do that as well right now. Subscribe. We just watched it, John, as we were recording our podcast. Devontae Smith, wide receiver, Alabama. The Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, been almost 30 years since a receiver won the Heisman. Uh, beauty is now we get to watch him. National championship game, all this other stuff. I mean, it's really wild the year. The team he was on last year. The year they had, Jalen Waddle gets hurt. Jalen Waddle's back at practice, by the way, this week. Maybe he plays in the national championship game. So I think part of the question is like, okay, what type of draft prospect is this Heisman Trophy winner? It's pretty crazy. The last Heisman Trophy winner was Jerry Rice in Mississippi State, Valley State. That was a joke. Not funny. Uh, Sorry. I, I, honestly, I didn't joke? even. <laughs> the last receiver? I didn't know why. I didn't know wide receiver had ever won the award. I think it's kind of cool that just from a award standpoint that it's not just the quarterback award. And I think we get into this sometimes with the MVP in football. Like, is it just the quarterback award? Just name it the quarterback award. Right. Who's the best quarterback? And that's called the Davey O'Brien trophy. Because one of the th pushes last year was like, is Chase Young the best player? Right. Sometimes I, I, I want more of that. And hopefully I, I just hope that becomes that way. Like a guy that's going to go in the top five of the draft, who's clearly the most dominant player vote for that guy because every year there's a couple Devonte smiths and i'd say most of the last couple decades it hasn't felt like they really had a chance yeah uh so hopefully that changes i've been texting buddies that do the sec and i've asked them a couple questions one is Devonte smith a lock to be the first wide receiver remember early on before he broke his leg and he may come back for the game remember some of the plays waddle was doing we bet on them against uh old miss and they were running these plays for a while. I was like, yes, we did. Jesus, Waddle guy is incredible. And I said, are we sure Devontae Smith is going to be the first Alabama wide receiver off the board? And his statement was, no, I am not. I would I would take Waddle. And a lot had to do with his size. He's bigger. And then I asked, well, Devontae is kind of known as a speed guy. If you watch him play, right, they get him in space. They let him just make plays. He's a punt returner. He's a fantastic player. Like you're kicking everyone's ass at the SEC at Alabama. Saban's leaning on you. You're an elite player. I mean, he just won the Heisman. But it just even from an NFL standards, like he's an NFL player. They said, well, they had a guy last year, right? They had two guys come out. One was like the Marvin Harrison type, Judy, that was just, I think we were like, does he have good enough hands? But that he was a wide receiver in the NFL immediately. And then they had this Ruggs guy. I was like, you just ran a 4-2-7? And I text my buddy right before we started recording. I said, what is Devontae? Because I've been told he weighs 166 pounds. And I looked at what Ruggs weighed at the combine. He weighed 188 pounds, and he ran a 4.27 at 188 pounds. At a 166, I said, "What will Devonte Smith run? A 4.3? Is he a 4.3 guy?" He said, "Probably not. Four fours." Because you had mentioned that. And when you watch him, he's got like a long strider, but he's not like Tyree Kill. So he's going to run. Let's say a. Four, let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. Four four two, at a hundred. Which I think might even be. Okay, let's go four four five. Yeah. At 166, that's not a lock top 15 pick. Because 166 guy is really, really small. Remember, once upon a time, if we wanted to compare the two of them, and I think Deshaun's a little twitchier, but Deshaun also, coming out of school, was like 170 pounds. He went in the second round because of character. But like this guy, he was unstoppable, right? They got him the ball, punt returns. He was just an unstoppable force. Deshaun Jackson, you're talking Deshaun about. Deshaun Jackson. Yeah. If he had been a perfect character guy, like this guy is. They, they rave about it. Same with Ruggs. I think Deshaun would have gone to like 20s. Now, the game's changed a little bit since. But do you think Ruggs, again, different type player a little bit, a little faster. I wonder if that works against him a little bit. Like I, The more and more I envision this, he might go in the 20s. The, if, what, if what works against Rugs just struggles now. Rugs, yeah, but I would say this: like you and I have watched every games that every game that Rugs has played. He was the first receiver taken. Every guy in the top seventy has more catches than him, or at least going into week seventeen. I, that's what I, it was. Other wide, like you just the, the Justin Jeffersons, Jamar Chase, C.D. Lamb, like, Brandon Ayuk, plug and play types. Yeah, we're, we're, I think Devontae's a little scheme guy. And I mean that positively. Like he's a good scheme. Like you, yeah. Want I mean, I think he works in a lot. He does work in. You know, I think one of his pluses, right, is that he's a very good route runner. If I gave you over under a good... 15 and a half in the draft. Um, well, look, I mean, we had, what, 
two or three receivers go in the top. Where did Judy go? Uh, Rugs went 11, CD. Yeah. 12 and 15 or whatever. Okay, so it was about three. It was, CD was like the Cowboys, like 17. And then Ayuk went. Three receivers went in the teens. Then it was it was it was Justin Jefferson, Rager, Ayuk, like yeah, all back. I, I'm you said like 50, six guys go from like pick twelve to twenty five. I don't think Rugs works against him because I don't think I don't watch Rugs and think Rugs wouldn't shouldn't work. Like I watch Rugs and think Rugs this should work. Yeah. Uh, and I watch Devonte Smith and I think this should work. So. Top 15 is high, though, especially when we've got – who knows if we could, we could have four quarterbacks go in the top 15. If Waddle's healthy, I think Waddle goes above him. This, I, I, and I would take Waddle above him. Jamar, Jamar Chase. Chase. Jamar Chase is going to go above him. Yeah. And then you just have all the quarterbacks. you got a Panay Sewell in there. Uh, I'm sure there will be a couple other – whoever, like, the best defensive lineman is. They're just – naturally, those guys just kind of slot. Last year, the best wide receiver draft potentially ever – the first guy went 12. And all those guys, I would say those, certainly Judy and Ruggs felt like better prospects coming into that draft. They are. And CD, there were some questions, but clearly the answers on him were right on. Like, he's a stud. He looks good. But I do think this guy's a really good player. Like, I think he's yeah, the highest. He should be the highest first, round, first of all. I think, but, he, I think he goes somewhere between 16 and 25. Uh, that, that, to me, feels Well, good. but I'll tell you, you're asking, like, does the Ruggs – Lack of production hurt him. I think he's helped by the fact that it felt like every rookie receiver was a hit. Not, and it turned out when I say every, I'm generalizing, but like if you just threw a dart at a dartboard full of names with rookie receivers in the NFL in 2020, you're more likely to hit a guy that they nailed the pick than not. But Guys were the instant I, impact the other, players. The other thing I think working against them is just that. Because I go, look at the year before. Debo, A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf. That's the value true. in the second round now, the Mims, the Higgins. I can just find a really good guy like uh, the kid at SC. What's his name? St. Brown. Like The guys that are just going to be this year Amin in the Ra, mix in the yeah. second round. Amon Ra, Tyler Vaughns. What if I go, you know what? I'd rather take a corner or an offensive tackle right now and get that guy later. I think a lot of teams, once you see the success – of these wide receivers from 20 to pick like 50 the last couple of years, you go, you know, I wonder if I prioritize. Now, if you convince yourself, this guy's going to be Deshaun Jackson. Like if I told you he's going to, he'll be the next Deshaun Jackson. It, and teams knew that. Is he a lock top 15 pick then? Yeah, he is. Yeah. He is. I agree. And um, I just, that, that to me is the hardest part about the draft. You just don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I do think he's a real, I think he's a good pro. I think he's a potential pro bowler. Would it shock you if all four of the Alabama guys make a Pro Bowl one time in their no. career? Why? Me because, either. I mean, normally we're used to working against the odds, but I'll say again, like, the odds say that all these receivers that came in this year shouldn't all be as good as they are, but they all are as good as they are, right? Do you think Jamar Chase has hurt his stock by doing nothing all fall? No. When I Obviously, he's been training or whatever, but... I don't think so. I think he made the right decision is what I think. Not one overall, but, yeah. I, I think definitely. letting the Joe Burrow tape be the last tape that's out there... Well, do, and then do you think Justin all the Jefferson? guys that sat out, like Panay Sewell, has only gained steam, right? Or, I mean, stayed neutral. Like him, yeah. Jamar Chase and Panay Sewell are great examples of, I mean, Panay's a lock top five pick. Jamar, I think you got to probably nitpick his speed. It, to like, me, it just depends on what you look like last. Like, there's a, um, yeah, it just depends on what you look like last. Well, you right. went like, well, this guy was better than Jefferson in college, and Jefferson was sweet, so... You want him? <laughs> you know, yeah, I'll take that guy. And I, that's where I do think the Judy and the Rugs. It hasn't been as seamless. I think Judy's made a lot of plays, he had a lot of drops, and the Rugs just the production just wasn't there. I, I think it was. But like, he didn't. Justin, Jeff, Justin Jefferson is going to help Jamar Chase. Yeah, yeah, but but again, Rugs. It's not. I didn't watch Rugs and think that guy doesn't belong on NFL field. The name no, I was trying but, to think of was Paulson Adebo from Stanford. Was a guy that. Remember going into last year, they thought, oh, this could be a top 15 corner. And then he got beat a lot in that UCF game that Stanford played. Then he opted in and then opted out this year. So he ultimately didn't play. So his last film isn't great, but there are people that thought he could be a first-round corner. I mean, there's a guy that maybe could have helped himself if he had played, but who knows. Yeah. And and, and in fairness, like, think about Waddle, who I'm sure we'll talk about a lot, like, he got injured. Both both Devontae Smith and Waddle could have gone pro. They could have had all four wide receivers. And if those four wide receivers 
there's a decent chance that maybe instead of Ayuk on the Niners, it's Waddle. Yeah. Right. I'll say this. Like, I think those guys probably helped themselves by coming back just by not being in that draft last year. I agree. Because there's a decent chance that CeeDee Lamb and Justin Jefferson still go above them. Now, Rager, like, once it got to the Rager Ayuk, how would those two guys have not gone above Rager and Ayuk? Right. Based on the college stuff. Yeah. But I could see Kyle Shanahan looking at Ayuk saying, I think he could hold up maybe a little better in all the stuff I want to do than maybe Devontae Smith could. Yeah. But, and who knows? By the tad time, maybe like other guys were on the board too because Waddle would push them down. Right. 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 And it just, you're right. They really helped themselves. Because when I think wide receivers, I have to go maybe text around. But I think one guy, and then I think those two guys. And Devontae's really helped himself because I think Devontae was somewhat under the radar with the group. To me, Ruggs and Judy, but Judy was the star. Ruggs was the speed demon. And Devontae was kind of doing some shit, and Waddle was this up-and-coming star. And I think they've kind of just, especially Devontae, kind of just made a name for himself, right? I'm a star. Yeah. yeah. I can carry the team. Yeah. And I, he, where he helped himself, and this might get him drafted higher than I think, well, he had Waddle the whole time. No, Waddle shattered his leg. And, and he, he was he second said, on the okay. team. I think he was second on the team in receptions last year when it was a crowded team. Yeah, so he's... You're right. He'd probably end up going 12 to 18 range, somewhere in there. I still think you're right. It's When you put the number at 15, that's pretty tight, just given everything that's out there, all the other guys that are out there. 